my number one favorite movie of all time, the gold medal goes to Back to the Goddamn Future, man. Do I even need to explain? This is a movie directed by Robert Zemeckis, who directed Who Framed Roger Rabbit, has Christopher Lloyd in it, again, Who Framed Roger Rabbit, but this is definitely Zemeckis' best directed movie, Bob Gale's best written movie, I think he was the main writer, and Steven Spielberg's best produced movie. And I really hate it when people say that's the Transformers movies because the Transformers trilogy sucks ass. That's beside the point. I mean, do I even really need to talk about Back to the Future? I mean, let me, let me try to talk about it. First of all, um, when Michael J. Fox was filming um, Back to the Future, this was going on when he was on a very popular TV show, which I have watched before on Netflix, was uh, Family Ties, and he had to shoot Family Tie episodes during the day and Back to the Future at night. Don't know why I had to snap my fingers for that, but whatever. So, you know... Uh, there's going to be, I'm going to say some really interesting facts about the movie and then try to talk more about it. Uh, originally, a DeLorean or any vehicle was not really going to be the time machine originally in the original script. It was going to be a refrigerator, but I th they say they had a fear that kids would try to climb into refrigerators and, you know, whatever. I mean, yeah, because, you know, why, you know, why would a kid... You know, why let kids climb into a refrigerator when you can just let them steal a DeLorean and go 88? Okay, I'm just kidding, no. But, <laughs> that's beside the point. Um, I mean, seriously, this is probably, like, the most, my most favorite scene in the movie right here. I love the whole trilogy all together, but I can't say I, I love them all equally. This, this is definitely, the first one is definitely the best one. I love part two and part three, but... You know, the one I watched the most, part one. And it's almost the, the this movie's 30th anniversary, which will be next year. And I wonder what they're going to do for that. Um, and also, next year will be the setting of what was in the second movie, 2015. Um, okay, where's my damn hoverboard and self-lacing self -lacing power Nikes? And Jaws 19. I want to see that. No, I'm just kidding. But, again, that's beside the point. If they really did try to make a Jaws 19 by 2015, then Hollywood and the they need to get their ass in gear. Let's go. But, no. Shark still looks fake. <laughs> um, back to the Future. Marty McFly, played by Michael J. Fox, uh, is in a band. He plays guitar. And, you know, he wants to go out with his girlfriend to a camping trip, just themselves. You know, I mean, who doesn't want to do that with some girl they like or some guy, whatever, you know, whoever you are, whatever you prefer, don't care. That's beside the point. And, you know, he gets a call from Doc Brown one night, his really old man friend. Now, why is he friends with an old man? I don't know, that's kind of sketchy, I guess. But, again, who cares? Doc is pretty damn epic. Um, so, he gets this call from his friend Doc, and he... Well, it's obviously the scene that's going on behind me. He has a time machine DeLorean. And an interesting fact, now why they did go end up using the DeLorean was because there's a scene in this movie that's not too far away from this scene, but it's when Marty first goes to the 1955 and he's he crashes into that barn. And the the family, the, the southerners, farmers that were there, they go and check it out. And they're like, like, what, what, what is that? Because obviously it's a vehicle from the 80s. No one in the 50s is going to know what it is. Um, so then it looked like uh, a spaceship on the cover of one of the boys' comic books that he showed them. So they thought it was an... And what Marty was wearing was a nuclear uh, suit, whatever you want to call him. And he kind of... They thought he was an alien. So that was really the only reason why they used the DeLorean, just for that one scene... And they thought that would just make... They, well, they didn't think that would make the whole movie, but you know. It's it's a good scene, though. And also, uh, another interesting fact about that scene. Uh, 
notice the movie's about time travel, and the people that own that farm that he crashed into were uh, Mr. Peabody and Sherman. Yeah. Bet you didn't know that, did you? Look at the mailbox in that scene when he drives off. It says Mr. Peabody on it. And his son's name is Sherman, at least, you know, if you look at the end credits, whatever, but they don't say their names. Um, so, you know, Marty, he's in 1955, and, you know, he totally, you know, any time travel logic would say, you know, you go in the past, you change something, you're gonna, you do the smallest thing, go fuck something up. Um, yeah, he runs into his mom, and his mom starts to fall in love with him. That's a pretty scary sentence right there. <laughs> but, um, you know, and she wants to go to the undersea enchantment dance, something like that. And it's, at, it's their pretty much like prom at their school. And so he, he runs into his dad as well, who's a peeping Tom. And it's funny, because in one of the earliest scenes in the movie, um, when Marty was in 1985, he's eating dinner with his family. He, uh, they were talking about how they first met his dad and mom. He's like, well, uh, what were you doing, George? Uh, bird watching? He's like, uh huh. Oh, oh, yeah. He wasn't bird watching. But, you know. I mean, I don't know. He's a teenager. We'll let it, we'll let it pass. As long as he wasn't going too stalkerish about it. It's just a movie, okay? Calm down. But, after all, they did fall in love and get married, right? Um, so yeah, he runs in the dock in the 50s. Um, who kind of pretty much sort of looks like Doc in the 80s, but eh, you know, whatever. I'm not saying that's a bad thing, but... I mean, I could just literally describe in great detail this whole movie, which I kind of am doing right now, but I want to stop myself. This is the movie that is always on my mind. I quote quotes from it in real life in just random conversations that I have. You know, I quote Biff, quote Marty, quote Doc, even George. And I'm not just, the whole trilogy, it's just my per my favorite trilogy of all time. But like I said, the first movie is the best one out of them, so I didn't put, you know, the trilogy as a tie or anything. But yeah. I mean, I have the poster over there I just showed you, and I might do a video on the Back to the Future game that came out on PC, the Wii, and PlayStation 3, and stuff like that uh, about four years ago, because I do have that game on PlayStation 3. I might do something like that, but I don't know yet. I don't know if I, you know, Let's Plays, they, um, you, they're pretty done to death, and not only that, but, you know, really, depending on who the person is, it can or cannot just be entertaining. Now, with Game Grumps, uh, Aaron, Danny, and John, you know, whatever, and Ross from Steam Train, I can't forget them, uh, they are pretty interesting people with pretty interesting stories, you know, personalities, whatever, jokes. Not everything they do is funny, not all of their videos are great, but a pretty big majority of them pretty entertaining to watch and uh, PM Rants and uh, you know his friend whose channel name I cannot pronounce at the moment for some reason Aaron Wing 64 something like that you know it's PM Rants his friend but you know they started Goat Face Gaming and well uh, they're not game grumps but they do have some interesting you know commentary I guess but you know really I don't watch a lot of Let's Plays and I've done Let's Plays in the past, not on this channel, but, you know, I don't know. But now I'm talking about a completely different subject. So, uh, I'm, I'm going to make, I'm going to say now, this is not like an official list. My opinions can change. I do see new movies, even though all, all the movies on this list were pretty old, I guess. Um, yeah, I'm not one of those... I try not to be anyways. I try not to be a film snob who just, oh, you know, you only need to watch the classic. You know, there, there's still some good movies that come out, you know. Um, 
I was really shocked at how much I loved Super 8 back in 2011 when I came out when it came out in theaters. And uh, I do want to see this Godzilla remake coming out next month, and which is pretty weird considering I usually just fucking mm, mm, remakes, you know. But this one already, the, the, just by the trailer, looks way better than the 98 one. That was... Don't even get me started on that. But... Um... So yeah, Back to the Future It's the best damn movie ever, in my opinion. It may not be the best movie ever made, like, by, you know, any movie critic, you know, that are like, you know, Citizen Kane, or, you know, Rear Window, Alfred Hitchcock. I like Alfred Hitchcock movies, too, but, I don't know. So, thank you guys for watching. Like I said, my opinion can change, and if it does, I'm not going to make a, I'm not going to do a re-update of this whole list, because that'd just be a pain in the ass. So, thank you for watching, and, you know, for the very few people who like to watch me anyways, uh, leave, you know, you, you know, if you do a video on your top ten favorite movies, I might watch it, if you're like a really good friend of mine on here, or if you just leave it in the comments below, that'd be really cool too. Don't just, you know, put the titles of the movies and be like, yeah, there. Actually do, like, review and talk about them. Now, I know I didn't go into too much great detail about, um, about on most of these, but, you know, I did, tr I did talk about them. And it, 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 I say this was a better video than my uh, top 15 best Disney Channel ones, considering that was just nothing but rambling. This actually was prepared for. So, and also, I think on that list, I'm going to replace So Weird with Recess, because that show was way cool. But, you know, so thanks for watching. Have a have a good day. I really wish I could have left on a stronger note than that. God damn it, Scotty.